Yo, what is up there guys, Ed the Wiz, back at it again with another video with a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate discussion right here, right now, so let's get right to it. So, yesterday, it was announced that we would be getting more DLC characters, no idea how many, but regardless, it is hype and gives a lot of characters a chance to still make it in this game. And you all know at this point, I'm all about Sora getting into Smash Brothers. Now, one thing that Sakurai said really caught my ears yesterday was when he said adding more characters means that more game worlds will be added to the series. And that means that there will be even greater opportunity to delight the fans even if Super Smash Brothers series continues forward. I doubt there will ever be an opportunity to bring this many characters again. I want to keep improving this record as much as possible. So it sounds like Nintendo is really going to be going in with a DLC. The term game world excites me so much because Kingdom Hearts fits the bill. It is still a series that has yet to be incorporated into Super Smash Bros. And it would definitely add to Sakurai's already amazing record of crossovers by having Sora, the Disney rep of one of the biggest companies out there in the world, be in this game. Not to mention Kingdom Hearts on his own is a pretty big crossover with Disney and Final Fantasy. It's made a name for itself and at this point I like to think it's pretty much guaranteed that Sora is going to be in this game. There really is no excuse at this point. Kingdom Hearts is the second best selling game of 2019, number one selling within the franchise, popular in the fan votes and just the fandom in general, the public. It has history on Nintendo systems before. Kingdom Hearts can be considered an old game and has a nostalgic feel definitely oh my god you know how many people keep going back to play kingdom hearts 1 and 2 disney is open to the idea if nintendo asks so with all that in mind my question is when would he appear will he be the final character in the fighter pass or will it be somewhere around wave 2 i think they could go a couple of ways terry comes out in november and i'd like to imagine that the final character might arrive in january which would of course be a perfect timing because it would fit into kingdom hearts 3 one year anniversary of release but of course only in a perfect world but looking at the smash pass the first two characters of course being joker and hero clearly a little bit more i would say on the new side of things and then of course we have banjo kazooie and terry more old school type of thing i feel as though sora would kind of be the perfect balance over here between nostalgia old and something relatively new because you know everyone's nostalgic about kingdom hearts 1 kingdom hearts 2 and of course there have been plenty of other games you know leading up to three but unfortunately not not everybody acknowledges them which is a little bit unfortunate so to a lot of people's eyes Sora would be relatively new so I'm just saying Kingdom Hearts has that perfect balance of new and old. Now one thing that makes me think that he won't be the final character and instead be in wave 2 is that let us not forget that Nintendo made the list for their first fighter pass and that was before all of Kingdom Hearts 3's success. The only thing that was really going around was just the hype and anticipation for the game which later got released in January so maybe Nintendo didn't really want to gamble on Sora and deal with Disney but now after Kingdom Hearts 3's success they will see the demand is high even though it's always been there and that they will attempt to actually go ahead and get him. I'm sure Disney is well aware of Sora's profit at this point as well so why not make a deal? The only problem I see is Mickey's keychain on Sora's keyblade, the Kingdom Key, that they could easily go ahead and give him a different one but that's kind of like you know not the face of Sora, well his keyblade to be exact, that you see in almost every single Sora photo out there in the world. But let's not act like Nintendo hasn't been pretty friendly with Disney lately, you know. They got Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 exclusively for the Nintendo Switch. Not to mention they're having a whole Tsum Tsum thing exclusive to the Switch. And they're also even making a whole Nintendo Switch console based on the Tsum Tsum type of thing there. So I don't think Nintendo is going to be that afraid of Disney. And if there's one thing that we've learned throughout this whole adventure of Super Smash Brothers is that literally anything is possible. Sakurai has made the impossible possible on more than one occasion. Also, the fact that there isn't a female character in this fighting pass has me a little suspicious. So, you know, obviously Sora can't fit that bill over here. Unless they're going to give Terry his female counterpart and they're going to consider that a female character, then okay, maybe Sora does actually have a shot as making it to the final slot in the fighter pass. So, guys, that is basically it for this video. What I want to know in the comment section below is, you know, hey, Sora coming into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, do you think it will happen? And more importantly, if he does make it, do you think 
think he will indeed be the final character. Man, that'd be a great way to end this fighter pass. Or do you think he's going to be somewhere in wave two? Or do you think this is just not going to happen and it's a pipe dream? And no, <laughs> don't do this to me. So guys, if you like the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up as that really helps me out. Yorn already can follow me on Twitter. Same thing as my YouTube channel, which is Ed the Wiz. I'm also on Instagram, which is Matt Swag12345, where I post all the good stuff. So until next time, guys, I'm going to go ahead and say, Bye, pal.